Here's a thought to consider. Right now, you are exactly where you need to be. And your results, or what you think are the lack of results, are exactly what it needs to be. Because if you had already integrated your experiences and learned the skills that were supposed to move you forward, you would be farther along by this point. But whatever point you're on, whatever point along the journey that you're on, that, that you're at right now is the point that you need to be at. This is a it's not spoken enough because what we usually see when we are learning, especially those of you, those of us here, a lot, a lot of us are learning how to grow our business, how to do marketing, et cetera, is we just keep looking at the people who are further along and say, well, I should be there too. Look how long I've been doing this. How come I'm not as successful as somebody else who may have been doing it a shorter time? But you have no idea what kind of support they have or just what kind of genetics they have that are different than yours, what kind of life situations they have that are somehow more supportive or more conducive to whatever results they're getting compared to your life circumstances, your genetics, your upbringing, um, your astrology, whatever it may be. So I like to remind myself of this and to remind all of you of this, which is your business numbers are perfect right now. In some way, it is exactly what it needs to be right now because it is the result or the natural unfolding of what you've done up to this point along with all of life that has unfolded up to this point. So I'll tell you a quick story. Um, years ago, I created a program that I was really excited by. It was a group program. I was envisioning 50 people in the program, at least 30 people in the program, if not 50. And I launched it with much fanfare, with gusto. And did 50 people sign up? No. One person signed up. <laughs> it was uh, supposed to be a year-long program, and I was going to give everything I knew, uh, put it into the program, and to help people you know, build their business, et cetera. One person signed up. Well, it was a group program, so I refunded that person um, and moved on to launching the next thing because obviously it didn't work out. I was very disappointed, of course, and I was quite discouraged because how, how can this be? I thought I, I had already been several years into my business, by the way, by that point. Um, and I just thought, you know, don't people, don't, don't people want to learn from me? Don't people want to interact with me? How come it's like this? It was very discouraging. And I know that some of you are in that situation now or recently, or maybe you will be in the, in the not too distant future. You'll experience that as well. <clears throat> All of us experience something like this along our business growth journey at some point. Well, fast forward today, that same program is called Master Heart ABC. I have two different names for it, but that program is now 80 people with a waiting list. So instead of the 50 that I wanted to enroll years ago and I only enrolled one, now it's 80 people with a waiting list. And it's been, it's had a waiting list now for several years. Um, you know, so I, look back and i'm actually grateful believe it or not that the earlier version of the program didn't run because when i look back 
at the kinds of stuff I was teaching back then, I was glad, I'm glad that I didn't expose more people to it, <laughs> right? Because I was still quite early in my development of the framework and of sort of like having the experiences of coaching so many hundreds or thousands of people by this point. Like I, compared to now, I had no idea what I was talking about. Of course, back then I thought I knew. I thought I had done the research. I thought I had, you know, coached a few clients and gotten understanding of what this is about. Well, one person signed up and very grateful for that person's kindness and support, but it just wasn't meant to be. And now, of course, I'm much more proud of what I'm offering. And I'm, uh, you know, I don't make dramatic changes to my framework anymore, but that's um, compared to what I used to do. But all I'm saying is that I really deeply believe that somehow life has got our back. That we have a path of destiny. And destiny, I think, in my opinion, tell me if you agree, is that your destiny, my destiny, is one of ultimate bliss, full understanding of total beauty and love. I'm talking about the destiny of our souls. And this life is just a blip, a tiny dot along the vast spectrum of that journey. I'm guessing most of you watching this are probably okay with my uh, okay with that worldview but you know if you if you believe differently uh how might you integrate that idea into your worldview like for example if you're an atheist and say there's absolutely nothing beyond beyond the physical that we can measure at this time then you could still say that um you are a part of humanity and and humanity is part of the universe's evolution <clears throat> and that uh, that itself is along a very very long spectrum and your life is just one blip that contributes to that overall evolution. But like I said, I believe in the eternity of the soul and the consciousness beyond death and all that stuff. So I, so that's the bigger picture that allows me to have peace when I have one person <laughs> instead of 50 that signed up for something. Because ultimately, this is all a journey of learning and leaning into more trust of the whole process and if we trust the whole process then perhaps we can then go well this moment can maybe be how can i enjoy this moment a bit more than i am now how can i step back from this moment and not say not see this as being the symbol of my success or failure this launch didn't go well, this launch went great, whatever it is, this is just one of a billion, a trillion <laughs> launches you'll make in the life of your soul, unlimited, uh, you know, efforts to express your um, authentic nature, your higher nature. So back to, well, what do we do then if, um, we find ourselves comparing with our mentors, our peers, other people we see on social media that seem to have gotten, they seem to get their act to get, have their act together. And, and here we are with not enough clients, not enough money, not enough followers. And again, I remind you, the number of clients you have right now is somehow mysteriously just the right number. The amount of money you are making right now, this month, is somehow mysteriously just the right amount of money. How many followers you're having on social media right now, how much engagement you typically get when you post something, how many likes do you get, how many comments do you get, how many do you think you should get? Where is that coming from? You should have this much by now. Well, why? because someone else has that. But the fact is, whatever level of skillfulness you have at conveying your information, 
and have whatever quality of level of quality you have that you're conveying in terms of the content, you're getting what, sorry, what you deserve to get right now. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, I only deserve this. No, in the lifetime of your soul, you deserve everything. You deserve the absolute, uh, unimaginable, unending bliss and power and love. You deserve all of that. And yet, right now in this snapshot, in this life, at this time, your actions, your capabilities, everything you've done up to now has led you to this point of having X number of followers, X number of likes per post, X, X amount of dollars, X amount of clients, et cetera. Because have you noticed that when you post certain things, I mean, you post many things on social media, I hope, and some of them do really, really well, right? So a few of them get, are surprising to you. How come this one got so, many, so much more engagement? And then some things that you're really passionate about don't do well. They, well, it's because of the very human bias that because you've worked on something for so long, you naturally think it should be important to everybody else too. But you haven't yet gotten the skillfulness of communicating that. And it's not your fault. You're doing your best. You just need more time or more support to communicate, to first of all, choose something. You need skillfulness of choosing the right thing to share with the world. And number two, you need perhaps some support or some time of growing your skillfulness of communicating that thing with the world. And if whatever you're putting out there is a really good match for what your audience is thinking about at this time and seeking at this time and needing support for at this time, something that brings them alive at this time, then of course that thing will do well. So you are on that journey right now for learning what how to do that. And so what can you do except to keep showing up day after day or however often you show up on social media or email list or what, wherever you share with your audience, you just have to keep showing up day after day and say, well, this is my experiment for today. I believe that this is a, a nice integration of both my passion and my truth, my authentic desire to express. It's that integration. It's that, it's that side of me that's integrated with what my audience is feeling energized by at this time. I believe today what I'm sharing is that integration to the best of my ability to choose right now and to express. And then you just see if your experiment, how it went. If your if you're, uh, guessing was in the right direction, and oftentimes it's not because you're still learning. You're still trying to figure out, and we keep trying, that intersection between your authentic desire to express, to grow into, and your audience's where they're at right now, what energizes them, what makes them want to lean in. You're learning that intersection. And that's where truth really is for your business. That's where your authentic business is. It's that sweet spot combination between your truth and your audience's truth. So right now, your business numbers are perfect. Because whatever level you've learned to find that middle ground, you're seeing the results right now. Because if you have found that middle ground more skillfully, then your posts would be going, would, would be getting even more engagement. Your offers would be getting even more uptake. But always remember that our human bias of comparing ourselves to what we see 
that's successful on social media, because by the way, all the things you see on social media that are successful, you're not seeing, you know, 99% of the others who you're literally not seeing it. The algorithm is not showing it to you because you would have to scroll really far to find the 99% of posts that were put up by your friends and your the people, the brands you're following that didn't go anywhere. So they're trying to, all of us are trying. Well, I hope, I hope we are if we want to have a true livelihood that is enjoyable and that is a real service to humanity. So it's this daily action of first of all, appreciating where you're at right now and saying, let me not only find peace with my numbers right now and how much money I have and how much money I'm making and how many clients I have and how, how many likes I'm getting and how many follow, finding peace First of all, every day, it's like, ah, that's where I need to be right now. That's my launching point from now, from this moment. So finding peace and celebrating your past progress. Say, you know, I've done a lot. I've learned a lot, even though I'm not as far as I'd like to be. But that ambition is good. It keeps you leaning. It, it keeps you working towards your potential. So celebrate your past being peaceful with the present, and then stretching toward the future to say, all right, today, how will I stretch just a little bit towards cl more clarity about that intersection between what I love and what my audience loves? How can I stretch a little bit in that, more in that direction? Can I uh, observe? my past posts on social media and notice a pattern of, oh, my audience seems to really like that kind of thing. Okay, noted. Let me go ahead and create more in that direction. Or hmm, of all of my services that I've tried offering in the past, uh, products, services, programs, events, which ones did better than the others? With, you know, maybe not none of them did as well as I would like. Of course, I have an, I have ambition and I want to grow and but which ones did a little bit better than the others? Can I lean more in that direction? Because obviously that's what my audience wants. Can I somehow integrate that with what I'm alive about right now? What energizes me right now? And, and that, that, again, we're finding that intersection between what they want and what I want. So how can you stretch yourself just a little bit every day? Because, by the way, the stretching doesn't happen all by itself. Have you noticed? If you just go with the status quo, if you just go with your current habits, this is important. If you go with your current habits and just do what you naturally do without conscious stretching, then you'll keep getting the results that you're getting. Yeah, maybe it'll grow a little bit, a little bit, a little bit you know, over, over time, but your conscious stretching is what allows you to lean into your potential at a speed that you probably want more of. So daily appreciating of the past, finding peace and joy in the present, and then leaning into the adventure of finding your potential. And by doing this action of appreciation and then a little bit of stretching, appreciation and stretching, gratitude and adventure, you are on your way. But it's still every day, you still have the present moment of saying, this is enough. Somehow, mysteriously, this is enough for today. And I will stretch in the direction of my potential. I will play in that direction, and whatever happens, that too will be enough for that day. I hope this is helpful, and I honor your efforts. I honor your efforts because you're doing the best that you can. I believe you are. With the, the, with the capabilities that you have. So I wish you peace today. 
And I also wish you joy in stretching into your potential. Thanks for joining me.